From sudden unpredictable lane changes and confusing reversals and running red lights, we don't have much time, so let's get started right away. Oh my goodness! I don't know why the driver was in a hurry to drive so fast, but do not worry, no one got hurt. Do not imitate this. Oh no! Red Ferrari should be careful in order not to cause multi-vehicle accidents in Melbourne. Thankfully, everybody is okay and nobody was hurt. Unbelievable! There were no streetlights in the area, no sign of hazards, no warning lights, literally nothing. Thank God the driver is still safe. Jesus! This is the moment a car hurtled off a road, bounced over the roofs of three stationary vehicles, but no injuries were reported. It's careless to drive a truck over power lines without paying attention. Fortunately, no one was seriously injured. Apparently, if there is no fence, I don't know what bad things will happen to the cars running on the road. Glad they were not injured. No injuries were reported after a car crashed through a dead-end barrier and landed on its roof when it fell over a hill at the end of a dead-end street in San Francisco. But I feel sorry for the trees. We have a lesson here that we should stop at red lights. Glad he is okay. Oh my god! It is very important that you concentrate while driving. It's a good thing nobody got hurt. No! Definitely not happy times. Blind turn, no signal, do not imitate this. Glad nobody got hurt. This driver is passing at high speed through a puddle. He was extremely lucky that everyone around him were vigilant drivers too. That was close. They are just coming out of the interstate into a sharp curve, which quickly turns into an intersection. Unless they were paying attention to the signs to slow down and actually paid attention to them, no one got hurt. Well, this is what happened when a driver lost control speed after doing donuts. Don't imitate this, everyone. It's better for black cars to ask for turn signals sooner, so this won't happen. Clearly, the black car needs to be more polite and patient in traffic. Glad nobody got hurt. Oh my god! Lightning struck and shattered the road at MSCP Block 439, Bukit Batok, Singapore. Thank goodness no one was injured. Astonishingly, nothing caught fire or anything. You can see the truck has toppled a power pole on the side of the road. The road is too narrow for the truck to safely U-turn. Center traffic light. I'm going to do my own thing. No, man. That is not a good idea. Do not imitate this. Do not imitate this. Glad nobody got hurt. This happens during one of the biggest snowstorms in Toronto, Ontario. City bus slides into the curb.
Do you think the black car should be serviced? Let me know in the comments. Oh, the distance between the two vehicles is too close and it is not safe to change lanes. Glad nobody got hurt. The drivers observed very carefully and drove at a slow speed when crossing the road. Good job! The simple answer is people don't look and have their mirrors adjusted wrong. But mostly, they don't look, can never know what the people in front are gonna do. Let's always keep a safe distance from the car in front. It is impossible to understand what the white car driver was thinking when he stopped suddenly in the middle of the road. God bless them, both truck drivers are still safe. Don't pull out in front of trucks, everyone. Glad they were not injured. It seems that the truck is too long, making moving on the road slow. Always check the rear and side mirrors. Look over your shoulder and you should be okay. You may only change lanes when you do not hinder any other traffic. Drivers in Missouri change lanes without looking. Be careful on the road and pay attention to your surroundings. The black car driver was like, oh, well, I didn't see the red lights, it's not my fault. Hmm, running a red light won't save you guys time. I think the driver should not move the lane continuously for a short time. Do not imitate this. Who issued a driver's license to this driver? Fortunately, no one was injured. I think this driver might need a new garage door, and a car, and learn how to drive. I bet this person learns that they should never start a road rage competition. And this is why you need a dash cam. Somehow they all of a sudden forgot how to drive in Queens. This is the one count of involuntary manslaughter of a signal light. I can't see it, but I bet either phone or because searching for something, it's always one of those two. No, he forgot to lower the dump bucket. That's really a bad thing. Although no one was injured, but now you will have to pay a large amount of compensation. Why do many drivers not pay attention while driving? That's truly not safe at all, you know? This video shows the moment when a motorist slams right into a concrete barrier on a Missouri highway after she tries to change her shirt while driving. Luckily, she is still fine and then a truck driver traveling behind her comes to her aid. He's not slowing down. Jesus Christ, he is not slowing down. Understood, no one was reported injured in this case.
and this is why you should always leave a safe following distance. Don't worry, they have great insurance. Perhaps they were impatient. No one badly hurt, fortunately. Somehow the fact that they didn't bonk into each other made it even better. I think mostly because the innocent driver's car was untouched and the perpetrator was taught a lesson. Thank God they are still fine. In this case, they were extremely lucky. But you know, not everyone can be lucky like that. Please remember to obey all the traffic laws. You never know when unexpected situations will occur. So remember, keep a safe distance from the vehicle ahead and always travel at a reasonable speed. I bet he didn't check the rear view mirror. Tire. No! Well, he's lucky. The tire didn't hit the other car and it even came back to the truck. Even when bridges were warned about their height, there are many drivers who don't pay attention to this. He is a prime example. Never change lanes abruptly. This can put you in danger. Perhaps it's too late for him to realize his mistake. Eight times that dummy hit the car. Unbelievable. Wow. Like she was obsessed and just couldn't stop trying. With the weather like that, I think this speed is still too fast. Don't imitate that. The driver of the gray car was drunk driving, collided with the bus and hit the sign. Don't do this. The delivery truck driver lost control of the vehicle while overtaking and colliding with the Volvo truck and then Gaz Gazelle delivery vehicle. Thank the Lord everyone was okay. Oh my God, it's scary because the truck is so close. Thankfully, the driver is still safe. Thank the Lord everyone was okay. We should be careful when driving on such a snowy road. Luckily, the god of death has overslept. 
Which car do you think is going the wrong way? Let us know your opinion in the comments. Someone parked their car too close to the tracks. Glad no one was in the car when the train passed. Oh no! I don't know what he's running from, or what he's trying to prove. Thank God the driver and the car are okay. Oh no! I don't think the white car is allowed to cross the street when the light is green. This is an expensive lesson. Vehicle drivers must drive at extremely careful speeds. Do not imitate this. If you ever thought about running red lights, I hope this video makes you think twice before you do so. This is why you should observe before turns, because you could cause a vehicle collision that could have serious consequences. They're both at fault. The clown, the turn in front, and the car going straight was too fast. Hope they are fine. This is the brute power of the winds during the storm that hit the Western Cape on 7-6-2017. Luckily, there was no one in the car. Don't imitate this. The collision occurred on the highway on December 22, 2018. I hope the driver's license is revoked. I think the distance between two vehicles should be further to ensure safety. Oh no, God bless him. Thank God that everyone is safe. A tense moment is captured on a dash cam on a highway in Poland as a loose tire goes sailing into the road, causing a car to run right into it. If you drove carefully, this unfortunate collision probably wouldn't have happened. During poor visibility and severe snow, you should be extra cautious on the road because you never know what lies ahead. A police pursuit in Arizona culminated with a violent head-on crash after troopers from the Arizona Department of Safety tried several times to stop an SUV. I hope that other guy is okay. Whose fault do you think it is in this situation? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thankfully this was only a minor collision. Both the driver and car were fine. Oh no, I guess the driver of the white car drank alcohol before driving. Don't imitate this. Luckily, no one was hurt in the situation. What is he thinking? Causing an accident or running away is unacceptable. Please don't do that. It's quite reckless. I hope everyone should not drive through floods. Do you think if people actually paid attention to the road when they don't have autopilot? Driver behind was distracted and failed to follow road curvature, struck the curb and overcompensated steering. No one was injured in this situation.
you can see the driver tries to do a U-turn from the right turn lane and gets T-boned by a Volvo. At least all of them were okay. This is the reason we have to keep a safe distance from the car in front. Glad that they are okay. Be alert for traffic on all sides and remember to stay focused while driving. Don't worry, both drivers are safe. This dash cam footage captures the moment a lorry collided with a car. Luckily, no one was injured. Oh, oncoming drivers do not notice the danger in time to react safely. Be careful while driving. Oh my god, there's still tailgate, and they don't pay attention to their surroundings. Pay attention, people. Oh, I don't understand why some drivers can be so careless. Thankfully, no one got hurt. Do not imitate this. Oh man, this is what happens when you speed, but can't judge distances nor notice objects around you. It's good that everyone was fine. Oh, that's why the pedestrian crossing sign was on the ground. Thankfully, no one got hurt. It looked like the truck was out of control. Thank God there was no collision. Definitely a load shift. You can see it smashed into the side of the trailer. Luckily, no one got hurt. Brake failure or any other reason. That is why routine truck maintenance is necessary. The guardrail was just too perfect. This is why you need to concentrate while driving. Luckily, no one was hurt. The white car. Don't ever do this. If you come across careless drivers like this on the road, call the police or 911. The driver should absolutely be slowing down in this situation. Thankfully, there was no collision. Terrifying. Didn't expect it to be that quick. Thank God the driver was still safe. It will leave you asking, how do they pass their test? Hmm, I can only say that it was a careless driver. On a dark and stormy night, a wheel has come off the car. I feel sorry for the car driver. Oh, he must exercise greater caution. That's clearly the white car driver was not paying attention. Don't do that, people. Luckily, he was safe. Always scan left and right before entering an intersection because this happens all too often. Thank God, no injuries. Whoops! Only turn when you are in the closest lane to the lane that you are turning to. At least, no one got hurt. It looks like they tried to slow the tow vehicle and hit the brakes down, which made the situation worse. But do not worry, the driver was fine.
don't know where the Corsa driver was looking, but it sure as hell wasn't in front of him. Well, the white car changes lanes without indicating. Luckily, no collision happened. And this is the same case. Oh my goodness, he fell asleep while driving. Luckily, no one was hurt. I think the driver's license should be revoked for that. Yeah, maybe the car driver didn't pay attention when driving on the highway. Oh God. I didn't even mean to honk. Glad both of them are fine. Oh! oh no, the blue car is in the wrong lanes. Cars in the way, and they just go for it anyway. Fortunately, no one was injured. Oh man. They should have slowed down to observe. Thankfully, both the car and the driver are all right. Frightening moment. I think the driver couldn't control the car, so there was a collision. Luckily, no one was hurt. Sometimes we can't avoid unpredictable incidents like this. Thank God the driver is fine. Maybe he turned too early and crashed into the median. No injuries were reported. Is that called karma? Even though the driver wasn't injured, you know, not everyone was as lucky. Don't imitate any of these actions in this video. What was he thinking? I mean, he should have known what to do and what not to do. So everyone, never imitate him. He should have had that front part lowered, and he would have went underneath that low clearance bridge. It seems that those waves want to swallow the cars on the road. A driver lost control and crashed into a power pole in Linder. There were no major injuries, but the crash knocked out power to several thousand homes. And this is the exact reason why I stay about three car lengths away from the tracks when I'm waiting on a train. I would highly recommend that everyone start doing that. If the train starts to derail like that, then you need time and room to get the hell out of the way. The ruling in a case brought to Germany could allow the British government to stop paying services. This is a common sense ruling. It's a good step in the... At least they handled that blow very well. Thank God nobody got hurt. Truck driver misjudges and turns with too much speed. His truck topples over, spilling its contents all over the road. Luckily, he survived. Oh my god. Truck drivers shouldn't have moved so fast, especially under a bridge. Although it flipped over and slid across the highway, miraculously the driver was not seriously injured. Hi, dude. Thank god, no one was hurt. Well, that driver was moving too fast, and here's what happened next. If your car hydroplanes, remember to stay calm 
lift your foot off the gas, and avoid sudden braking or steering like this driver. Oh my god! Thankfully the two drivers were fine. Seriously, if they gave way to each other, this collision wouldn't have happened. Uh -oh. Don't worry, that driver's okay. But here we have a lesson for all of you. That is never speeding, safety comes first. This is a dramatic moment when lightning struck a truck in Mooresville, North Carolina. Luckily, no one was near the area at the time. This is a dramatic moment when this trailer truck being escorted by the police to an emergency runway lane. Finally, the driver was able to maneuver the out-of-control rig for several minutes after its brakes failed. Luckily, the driver escaped unscathed. Oh, it's hard to believe this is true. Maybe the guardian angel protected this driver. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.